The woman and her fiancé have drawn up a 22-point list detailing the rules for their relationship. Uh, now, hers, for example, includes uh, having a word that they can use in public to let each, each other know that they're a bit annoyed. Which Seems is pineapple. Is pineapple. Which Seems would go unnecessary. unnoticed in any social situation. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> no talk about marriage or kids for six months. And his includes football Sundays, how stereotypical, and a daily phone call from her. So, do you think this is a good idea, Carol, to have a marriage contract, you being a newlywed yourself? <laughs> in well, the first flush. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, not really. It's been a year now, but... Been flushing for a while. I mean, <laughs> marriage is a contract on its own. <laughs> so Europe. <laughs> um, <laughs> marriage is a contract in itself, though, isn't it? So I don't know why you'd need this, and and it disturbs me slightly because there's some really sort of sort of niggly, pernickety little things on the list that are just so unnecessary. Because if you have too many rules like that, when you break them, it's an even bigger issue. So okay. do you think you should just find these things out organically? About well, you them? would, though, wouldn't you? And if, and if uh, someone's doing something that annoys you and you tell them enough times, yeah. they still do it and they don't not do it. So what's the point of a list of things that oh, people totally just agree don't do? If I, I, if I had a list of, and in this contract, <laughs> I would then put it into Excel on a spreadsheet <laughs> and every single time... Laminate it. Yeah, <laughs> one of those was broken, I would... Put a little note there until the end of the week. You'd keep a log, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Joe's not still around the yeah. back, is he? Because <laughs> he might be no. running down the street in a taxi. <laughs> yeah, fast black. Yeah, 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 definitely. I'd give him a report and say, look, you broke these terms of the contract, so I want A, B, C, D, or I'm suing you. <laughs> but, isn't, but, isn't, but is it not just a contemporary way of suing? <laughs> is it not just a contemporary way of looking married, uh, looking at marriage? I mean, Mark and I have been to three marriage guidance counsellors through our marriage, and. And when I first heard this, oh, you know, I went into my, oh, what load of rubbish. But actually, is there something in it? You know, that I... Because we sometimes say to each other, we wish you'd gone to marriage guidance counselling before we got married, because maybe we could have swerved some of the stuff that we went through. <clears throat> and, it, you know, things like... Or most of our married life wouldn't have occurred to me that I could go on holiday without him and the kids. Really? I love going on holiday with him and the kids. But... I actually really like going away with the girls. It's when I've only started to do that in the last few years. So maybe if you're thinking about those things before you get like, oh, what would I like? Oh, well, I'd still really like to go away on holiday. And then you haven't lost 10 years when you didn't go on know, holiday well, with your mates. I mean, I'm really torn in that. I get what you're saying in that I think it's a good idea if you're really going to commit to a relationship, whether you get married or not, to really talk about, you know, the nitty gritty of day to day life. Because yeah. as you say, it's the day to day that kills us, you yeah. know, the things that really grind your yeah. gears. So I think that is a good idea. But the control thing, I mean, it wouldn't occur to me to have a contract to agree that I can go on holiday with somebody else. Or dance I mean, if I'm having that, I'm thinking, oh. Around the house, this is what yeah. it is. What? But not, it's not necessarily what, to he's agree. not allowed to sing to hip hop. No, no, she likes to sing hip hop and dance around the house. Now, why why would you need to have that written down? What What is he going to do about Although that? Although, saying that, well, seriously. had Joe told me that the amount he listens to talk sport before I met him, <laughs> I don't know that I would have engaged. There you go. <laughs> so would that be on your list oh, well, in the contract? Yeah, what one else? hour a day for talk and sport. I, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's Leave it. him alone. Oh, come on, Carol is like, and now the football and now the cricket and now the <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, there's so many sports. <laughs> Oh, he keeps him out of the pub. <laughs> oh, but you know, you've just you've just made me think about by, by saying that though, because what that's made me think is we've just sat here and seen you with Joe and what an, a lovely couple you are. Maybe if you had sat down and looked at the nitty gritty and known how many hours he was going to listen to talk but you wouldn't have got together. And what well, a travesty that would have been. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have been. Yeah, but it would have been. Yeah. yeah so that might make decisions. me think. No, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah. Do you yeah. have anything on your list? Oh God, loads. One of them is leaving his pants upside down in the downstairs loo. And then when somebody just pops in and you go, can you use the loo? Yeah. Mean, upside down? Well, you know, inside as you out. Out, out of them. them. Inside yeah. out? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I do that as well, but I do it upstairs. So, like, sometimes somebody would have come in, oh, can I use your loo? Mum's dropped a kid off. Like, yeah, sure, use the loo. And then they go, and then I go and go, no! <laughs> Because his pants are upside down. Yeah, but it's floor. realistically, it doesn't matter how many times you write it down, he's not going to stop doing it, is it? No. So no. then you just exhaust yourself yeah. trying to enforce rules that are just pointless. What's the point? Just yeah. let him get on with it. I, I, I mean, I'd have a million things as well. Yeah. Like, Mark, 
Please don't tell me every time you empty the bin. <laughs> I, I don't want to know. What, what do you have to tell me? Oh, I've just emptied the bin for you. For you? No, what do you mean for me? When you all done stuff like that, I feel like getting like a whole, hiring a whole band to every time they say something like that, to be like, da 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 da